Today I'm going to talk about uh, computer aided design packages and computer aided machining packages or CAD CAM. Now this is one of my favorites Virtual Gibbs a computer aided machining package. Um, I love this program to death but it is very expensive um, and then I've also got Autodesk Inventor for the computer aided design package. Okay, so I'm going to explain the difference between the two. Computer aided design, like Autodesk Inventor or SolidWorks, those type of programs, are mainly used for designing three dimensional parts. So from the above menu here, you've got all these two dimensional drawing options. I'll just show you a quick little demo. We'll draw a two dimensional box, finish the sketch. And now it's just as simple as extruding it out to whatever dimension you want, whichever direction you want. Clicking OK. So now we've got a three dimensional box that we can do whatever we want to. So just as an example, put a radius on the edge here. Bang. So another advantage of CAD programs is you can come back to your model tree and easily make changes. So we'll just change that to a 10mm radius. And bang, done. You can also go back to your original sketches and edit them. Just makes the whole design process easy and it focuses purely on design as opposed to machining which is where programs like Virtual Gibbs and Mastercam really come into their own. So now how do you decide what you need? They are very expensive programs no matter what, which way you look at it. Um, you have to ask yourself, do I design a lot of three dimensional parts or do I do complicated shapes like a uh, face, for example, machined into steel? Um, or do I just do simple 2D or 2.5D profiles like uh, keyways, that kind of thing? Alright, so let's talk about the features of a cam package. Um, what you'll get is basically a program that um, is very good at creating tool paths and also basic design or uh, profiling tools. So here I'll just create a square, quick square and I can um, shrink wrap it so that it's in the dimensions that I want. This shaded area with the profile lines, uh, my material. So let's just make that 50 mil thick. Okay, so that outline there is my material blank, and this is the profile I want to do. I can um, make quick changes, put uh, chamfers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just doing basic geometry. Uh, they call it 2.5D because while you're drawing in 2D, when you machine it on, say, a free axis machining center, you're machining the depth, so it's not a true three dimensional shape as far as design is concerned, but they call it two and a half D. So from here I can start to create tool paths. Um, I'll go to my tool file and say I'm using an M-mill. Let's call it say five millimeter M-mill. No corner radiuses, four flutes, 100 mil long. It's tool offset number, tool ID, all that kind of stuff. And I'll bring it down to the machining window. Create just a simple contour. So you get your speeds and feeds, entry lines, if you want to leave some stock on there, etc. Overlaps, spring passes, 
Uh, this will define how deep you want to go, so we'll go minus 10 mil. Uh, our Z step or depth of cut, we'll say 1 mil. Auto plunge, etc. Whether you want your radius compensation on, all that kind of stuff. Now we just select it. Tell uh, the cam package which way we want the cutter to go, on which side of the line, etc. And then do it. So then we can watch the video of what it's going to do. And there we go. That's a very simple machining process that. It's just an example. Okay, so where CAM really comes into its own is when you um, start working with solid models that you get from a package like uh, Autodesk Inventor. So we'll import them. Uh, gives you all these options. And there we go. This here is from a design I made for a motorbike. Um, this was a part of a license place holder. Um, you can see here just how much was involved in it all. And I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to computer aided design, but I was able to work my way through it and get what I wanted. So now with Virtual Gibbs, you can see from the position that I had it on um, Autodesk Inventor to Gibbs, it's out of whack a little bit, so I'll go and open up the proper one. Okay, so this was uh, one of the positions that I needed the part to be in to work with my machine. Now, it's a very simple process of just working through your work planes and flipping it around rotating and that kind of stuff um, so with our tool paths here I've got a three millimeter M mil and that's boring out the position where the uh, indicator light keyed into the part then uh, got bolt holes that was machining out the pocket now you can see uh, my material here, I cut that down so that um, it was in line with the top of this pocket and that allowed me to know uh, how to adjust my depths and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, now with some of the features of the CAD CAM we can um, get our 3D model and extract geometry from it so there I just extracted all the geometry of this face into a 2D format. Now let's say I just wanted to machine the outside for whatever reason. I can select this, modify that to force the depth and now I've created a two-dimensional profile at the top of my material so that I could rough it out or whatever. Um, these are some of the key features of CAM packages working with CAD files. Okay, now some of the features with the computer aided machining software is all the machining options that you have. Um, I particularly like Virtual Gibbs. Uh, they've got add-ons like this volume milling, which um, is kind of like trachoidal milling, but uh, its own version. Awesome for tool life. You've got plunge milling processes, 5-axis, advanced 3D machining, thread milling, surfacing, which is like 3D machining, but more simplified. Roughing, contouring and holes so before I showed you the thread milling here that was actually with an end mill to counter bore the hole and um, these are just some of the tricks you can use to uh, achieve machining methods that you want um, they're advanced oh, this is uh, the typical surface milling type of stuff 
gives you all these options basically any way that you uh, would like to machine a job it should be able to give you the options to do it um, volume milling again can't say enough about it I absolutely love it I'll give you a quick little demo uh, let's just see if we can get this done What, th what this will do is allow you to um, basically adjust your side cuts so you can take huge depth of cuts but change your side cut to suit your machine and um, really just start getting the material out of the way so there that's just another demonstration but you can see how it works here it's kind of ramping down and then machining the pocket ramping down machining again and so on and so forth so in a nutshell CAD packages or computer design are really specifically for designing parts and making changes easy um, and CAM packages are really good for 2D 2.5D machining or excellent at working hand in hand with CAD packages to work on solid models